Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to install Optifine um, uh, for Minecraft for Mac. Okay, this is a fairly easy installation. Um, so the, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the Optifine website. Once you're at the Optifine website, I just recommend doing this. You locate this, it says Optifine Ultra, and you hit uh, download. This supports the guy who made it, so you want to just wait for that timer to go down and skip the ad. And then you want to hit download Optifine 1.3.2. Once you have that downloaded, you want to click show downloads and drag that onto your desktop. Okay, once you have that onto your desktop, it's almost time to start installing the mods. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to click go. Go to folder. Squiggly slash library. Type that in. Here we go. Go to application support. Go to Minecraft. Okay, now if you're like me and you already have mods installed, what I'm doing this. Highlighting all the folders and clicking texture packs, saves, uh, last login, and options.txt. All the other files, just drag them into the trash. <clears throat> That'll make it so you won't lose anything you had, such as saves, texture packs, your, some of your configured options, and your last login. So now it's time to force update. Now you can go like, now you can open up Minecraft. Just gotta wait for it to open. And then once you have Minecraft open, you can force update. So Minecraft's open, you go to options, force update, hit done and log on in. And it should force update successfully with no issues. Once Minecraft is done force updating, you can exit out. You can close Minecraft. So mine's done. No issues. So I can exit out. Okay. So now that you have Optifine downloaded, it's time to actually install the mod. Hit go. Go to folder. Type that in once again. Squiggly slash library to locate your library folder. Go to application support, go to Minecraft, uh, go to bin, and find the Minecraft.jar. Right click on it, click open with, be on archiver. Once you click that, something like this may pop up. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it should already have a Minecraft.jar file in there. Okay, now find your, find here on the sidebar, desktop, and extract that to your desktop. Once you have that extracted to your desktop, you're going to want to get that and just drag it in there. You can extract it anywhere you want, just make sure you can get it back in the bin folder. You want to have a Minecraft folder in the bin folder. The Minecraft.jar file, you can just drop that sucker right in the garbage. Once you have that sucker in the garbage, open up that Minecraft folder we just put in here. And locate a folder called MetaInf. There's two easy ways to find this. You can just scroll down and find it manually. It should be in alphabetical order. Or you can click on any class file and just type in meta, and it should automatically locate it. Drop that sucker in the garbage can and open up the Optifine mod that we just downloaded. Okay. <clears throat> you're going to want to highlight everything in here by hitting Command-A. Then you're going to want to hit Command-C to copy it. Then you want to go into here and hit Command-V to paste it all in here. Check that box that says apply to all and hit replace. Okay, you're almost done now. Hit the back button or go back into the last one where you were just in. Go into the bin folder. Right click on Minecraft. Oh no, yeah, right click on Minecraft. Hit get info and add the extension .jar to Minecraft. If this was not here, it was probably like that. You just want to hit that down arrow and then add it. Okay. Once you have that done, you have successfully installed the mod, and let me now show you that it worked. If you do get any error messages while loading, you did not. there's three things you might not have done. You might not have deleted meta-inf. You may have already had mods installed and didn't force update, like I said at the beginning, and your mods are not compatible. Or you just did something flat out wrong. So as you can see, it works just fine for me. It loaded up as normal. Here's the mod testing world that we use. And... Uh, I'm gonna push. Okay, so as you can see, 
you know this works because there's usually not there's as you can see there's some new stuff snooper settings which is new and this is a little more advanced than it's been and one way to easily prove it to you is because the rendering distance now goes to extreme I don't believe that was there before but I'm not totally sure and then full screen oh okay my bad um but yeah so that's it guys as you can see it did work um i hope it worked for you if it didn't leave a comment in the description but remember just if you didn't delete your meta inf that's probably the reason it didn't work all right guys i really hope this helped you guys thanks for watching bye